Jesus said to the crowds, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you are like whitewashed tombs, which on the outside look beautiful, but inside they are full of bones of the dead and all kinds of filth. So you also on the outside look righteous to others, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you build the tombs of the prophets and decorate the graves of the righteous. And you say, If we had lived in the days of our ancestors and would not have taken part with them in shedding the blood of the prophets, thus you testify against yourselves that you are descendants of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measures of your ancestors. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, my dear friends. Our gospel for today, you know, if you are aware, is just a continuation of yesterday's gospel. And today, Jesus denounces the scribes and the Pharisees for their duplicity. Woe to you. Duplicity means, I mean, duplicity in a sense. Their actions doesn't match with their words. Duplicity. You know, their lips and their lives preach two different messages. Duplicity in a sense, they appeared righteous, but inside them, full of hypocrisy and evil doings. When we speak about or when we talk about hypocrisy in simple definition or in simplest term hypocrisy means when people are telling you that you are hypocrites it means for me hypocrisy is pretending who you are not hypocrisy is Pretending who you are not. Like for example, pretending you are like an angel, but actually, you are a devil in a white garment. Pretending who you are not. It is a pretension. You appeared nice, you appeared, you look righteous, but deep within you, there is what we call an evil hidden motives. Hypocrisy. And my dear friends, you know, listen, we cannot pretend forever. We cannot pretend forever. That's why the challenge is don't pretend to be someone you are not. Because It's hard to pretend. What's the challenge? In our first, in our opening prayer, we are asked to do what is pleasing in the sight of God. For me, to counter attack hypocrisy, we have to do what is pleasing with the Lord. Because when, when people, when someone try to be hypocrites, the purpose is always to please people, to, to gain good impressions, even if you are not. You wanted to be to appear nice with people. That's why our our opening prayer it tells us to do things that is pleasing with God. My dear friends, be careful who you pretend to be. 
you might forget who you are. I say it again, be careful who you pretend to be. You might forget who you are. Friends, the challenge is very clear. Be who you are. Be true. Be genuine. Do things to please the Lord, not to please others. Now, Father John, what's the connection of our first reading to our gospel? Our gospel is reminding us not to be lazy. You know, it's very clear, it's very clear not to be idle. Anyone unwilling to work should not eat, St. Paul says. It means if you are lazy, you don't have the right to eat. It's very biblical. Do not be lazy. Why? For two reasons. First, the proceeding says, so that you will not be a burden. Lazy people were burdened, a burden. Second, work hard so that you will be a good example. And now, what's the connection of laziness to hypocrisy? For me, it's just like this, you know? Connecting it to hypocrisy, Hypocrisy is being lazy of revealing your true colors. Hypocrisy is hypocrisy when you hide that your true self because you are lazy. And friends, do not indulge yourself on something you don't put effort into. You're pretending like this, but actually you are not because you are lazy. And I think today, the gospel, Jesus is speaking to us. Why? Because whether we admit or, or not, the sad reality is all of us, we have our own pretensions. All of us, including myself, we have a Pharisee deep within us. There is a hypocrisy hidden in our hearts. That's why St. Augustine the saint whom we're going to remember coming days. This is what he said, and I quote, Better to be known a sinner than a hypocrite. Better to be known a sinner than a hypocrite. Because making mistakes is better than faking perfections. I say it again, making mistakes is better than faking perfections. Yesterday, I was on my walk around the town and when I walked, you know, in front of Joyce and a left corner, I, should, I, 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 I saw two wildlife. One is a fox and second, a skunk. Skunk. Skunk is beautiful. It's very colorful. Right? I don't know. It's very colorful. Especially with the tail is about to, you know, to spread like that. When I about to approach, because I'm, I didn't see it, but when I, I, I heard the sound, it was first a fox and then the second a skunk. And I realized hypocrites are like skunk. It's like skunk. It's very beautiful and colorful. But my God, eh, it's very stinky. That's why Jesus, for Jesus, hypocrites, you know, he compared it like the hypocrisy in our gospel today can be likened to a whitewashed tomb. Look beautiful, but deep within the tombs are nothing but bones. And death. Hypocrites are like skunk, beautiful outside, 
that my God is very thin queen. Friends, never be a skunk. Let us be true, reveal our true colors, and stop pretending who you are not.